Simple Future Tense. For more information, look in your textbook on page 61 at chart 41 and on page 63 at chart 42. To express the simple future, you use will or be going to. Both phrases express the future and they usually mean the same thing. When you're talking about predictions in the future, you can use either one. It makes no difference. For example, in written English, everybody will arrive tomorrow at 6 p.m. Notice that after will, we just put the base form of the verb, arrive. We don't say arriving, we don't say arrives, just the base form of the verb. Or you could also say, everybody is going to arrive tomorrow at 6 p.m. The meaning is exactly the same. It doesn't matter which one you use. Pay attention to be going to. It has to agree with the subject. Everybody is singular, so we use is. But if we had a plural subject, we would want to use are there. Now in spoken English, the pronunciation changes a little bit. So the first sentence, if I'm speaking that sentence, I would probably pronounce it something like this. Everybody will arrive tomorrow at 6 p.m. Do you hear the difference? I don't say everybody will, I say everybody will. Just an all sound at the end. Everybody will arrive tomorrow at 6 p.m. For be going to, we would say, everybody's gonna arrive tomorrow at 6 p.m. Do you hear what I'm saying there? Everybody's with the S on the end, and I change going to to gonna. Everybody's gonna arrive tomorrow at 6 p.m. It is important to note that we only use these in spoken English. Do not write gonna in a paper for your writing class. We would never write gonna, but it is what we say when we're speaking in English. Now, will and going to cannot always be used in the same way. Sometimes they have different meanings. Let's talk about be going to first. Be going to can describe a plan made in advance. For instance, two people are having a conversation. One person says, can you help me with this project tomorrow? And the other person replies, sorry, I'm going to visit my grandmother tomorrow. This is a plan that was already made before this person was asked to help with the project. It's a plan made in advance, so we use going to. You would not use will in this sentence. That would be incorrect. Will can be used in two different ways. It can be used to describe willingness, something that you are willing to do, or something that you are not willing to do. Or it can describe a plan made at the moment that the speaker is speaking. So not a plan made in advance, but a plan made suddenly. For instance, two people are having a conversation, and one person says, Can you help me with this project tomorrow? And the other person replies, Sure, I'll help you. They use will here because this is a plan that was made suddenly. Before this conversation began, this person had no intention of working on a project tomorrow. This was a plan made at the moment that the speaker began speaking. Another example, Ashley won't tell me my grade on the quiz. We use will not because we're talking about the future. This sentence, in fact, has nothing to do with the future. We use will here because we're talking about willingness. Ashley is not willing to tell me my grade. She doesn't want to tell me my grade. So we say, she will not tell me my grade. Please remember that this is willingness. This really has nothing to do with the future. Also remember, when you combine will and not, the contraction is won't. Ashley won't tell me my grade on the quiz. Now it's your turn. Read the sentences and decide whether you should use will or going to. You may need to use will not or not going to.
Let's look at the answers. For number one, my car just broke down. I'll call the mechanic to see if he can fix it. Since my car just broke down, this is something that happened in the recent past. So that means I made this decision suddenly. I did not make this plan in advance because I didn't know that my car was going to break down. So I need Will. Do you and Sandra have tickets for any of the baseball games this season? Yes. We're going to go to the game tomorrow night. We use going to because we can assume that this is a plan that the speaker and Sandra made in advance. They already bought the tickets for the baseball games, so they've already planned to go to the game tomorrow night. Number three, my son won't tell me where he hid the car keys. I need to find them soon. This is a case of willingness. It has nothing to do with the future. This woman is looking for her car keys. Her son knows where they are, but he is not willing to tell her where the car keys are. So we say, he won't tell me. And number four, I am going to study for our grammar test. Do you want to join me? We can assume that this is a plan made in advance. That's why I'm asking someone else to join me, because I've already planned to begin studying for the test. So we want to use going to. For more practice, please turn in your book and do exercise 11 on page 65.